Hello my developer friends on YouTube, how is it going? Today I got you a super awesome font icon that you can use in your next project. I've been using it for a while now and the good thing about this font icon is that if you don't find your favorite icon in one of the libraries, you can check the other libraries inside of it. Let me put it in other words. It is a font icon library with libraries inside of it. Some of the icons are paid but the good news is that there are plenty of free and beautiful icons available as well. Now I know that there is a font awesome and other font icons but this is by far one of the most useful and cool font icons I have ever stumbled upon. Some people might find it a bit complex to use it but it's not. You open the page and select the icons, download it and finally use it. Before I show you how to use it, a like would be super awesome since this is not a very popular channel. But hey, your like matters. So let's get into the video. Okay, now I'm gonna open the project and show you what files do I have and what is going on. If I open the folder, I have only a simple index.html file and then style.css. I have opened the files inside my VS Code and you should also open it. So I have uh, only linked the styles the CSS and now we're gonna download the icon To download it, let's go to the Google Chrome and type icon dot io. Now click on the icon app on the right corner. As you can see, we have the icons from the elegant things, and then the next one is type icon. If you scroll down, there are should be other libraries as well now click on the add icons from the library in case you don't find any other icons you can choose from these all some of them are premium but most of these are free for example this one this one and so many others so now let's go back and uh, find our icon and then download it if i go back and inside these icons i've chosen these two the trophy and the keys okay now we are gonna we have selected two of them if i go ahead and select this one this one this one as well you can select it but uh, i'm not going to choose all of them i only need uh, these two so let's say uh, download it on the left corner you can see generate svg and more if i click on this this will generate us uh, the svg files and if i click on this little setting button you can also download the PDF file, the PNG and the Polymer and the others, but we are not going to need those, but only the SVG. Go ahead, download it, and then open your download folder and extract this file. I'm going to extract it and then I'll show you. I have the zip folder, if I click right and then I'm going to extract it right here. From these files, we are going to need only this one this svg and the svg folder i'm gonna copy and then bring it inside the project we have and then paste it here most people name this uh, svg file sprite but you can name it whatever you want it doesn't matter i'm gonna name it and then we are gonna use it in order to use it we have to have a server there is an extension called live server and if you don't have it you can install it i'm not gonna install this one it's this extension I have installed the live server inside my machine locally. If I open my terminal here, I'm gonna run the live server here and it will go and it will open inside the Google Chrome. We are gonna display the icon beneath this uh, little text we have. So how do we use it? If I go inside the VS Code, I'm gonna close this one, close this one and then inside the HTML, let's use it here. You can use it for the link for example if I type I and I'm not going to use it because I've, I'm not going to need the link but only the SVG but only the SVG so to use it type SVG open and close the tag and then type use tag if I click this one inside here as I'm gonna type we are not going to use it here remember this is very important some people are going to use it here this is not going to work but only in here Type x link and then colon href and then open and close tag. Inside here we are going to type the destination or the directory of the sprite file which is this one. This one. This is sprite file. So I'm going to type the directory which is the sprite.svg and then we are going to put hashtag. After the hashtag we are going to put the name of icon whatever it is. 
Now, how do you find the name of the icon? If I go back to the uh, download folder, we have a demo.html. I'm going to open it inside the Google Chrome. We have the name of the icons, icon trophy. I'm going to copy this one. And then inside the VS Code, I'm going to paste it after the hashtag. Remember, there shouldn't be any space between the hashtag and the name of the icon. If I save it and go back to the Google Chrome, we have the icon. So the icon is a bit big and how do you change the color of it? If I remember this is an SVG tag, so you can also put class and the ID, but I'm only going to copy the SVG in here and then open and close the brackets. If I type the color, let's say this is red and save it. This is not going to work. For the SVG, we have another property. It is called fill. Fill is going to change the color of it. Let's um, choose this one for now and then change it. We are going to change it to blue. And then save it and open the Google Chrome. And we have it inside the Google Chrome up and running. Remember, this uses a live server, so you should have installed your extension. And there you go. Now you can use this font icon in your next project and get creative. Before you leave, there is a favor I'm asking. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe and stick around because we are just getting started. Other than that, I'll see you around.